Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Dan DeBacle, uh doing another match in my Fire Pro Wrestling uh, World Series. Uh, I'm doing something a little bit different tonight. Uh, I got a uh, comment from uh, JM Factor uh, to do a match with the Destroyer and Mil Mascaras. Mascaras. Uh, sorry if I mispronounced that. Uh, but uh, I'm going to be honest, I didn't really know much about these two. I watched a YouTube video of a match they had in Japan on October the 9th, 1973, uh, 1973 and man, instantly hooked. Uh, you can tell that each had a huge respect, not only for each other, but for the sport as well. Uh, you know, it was very clean match, uh, really well done, over 30 minutes long, and I had a great time watching it. Uh, surprise! I haven't really watched any uh, any of the matches um, at all. And uh, looking at some of the details I've learned about, uh, I'm just going to say MM here. Uh, but from what I found out, his nephew is Alberto Del Rio, uh, who just recently left the WWE. Uh, huge uh, popularity. He was in the WWE <laughs> Hall of Fame class of 2012. He was so large, he was in uh, a lot of movies during that time. Just a huge, huge superstar. So, uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and start the match. I, I, I thought about doing something a little funny, like maybe, you know, barbed wire or this or that. But based on the way that these two wrestled, uh, you know, no. Just put them in the ring, four corners, and let them do their magic. So, we'll go ahead and get started here. And hopefully we start up here soon. There we go. So here we are with the, the Destroyer. Um, now, uh, when he wrestled uh, Neil Mascaris, uh, it was considered Battle of the Mask. They had great in-ring chemistry uh, from what I saw there. You know, they... It was back and forth and had some funny parts. I mean, it was just a, a good, good match. Uh, Destroyer was an athlete from Syracuse University. Uh, he then became a professional wrestler. And uh, the most random fact that I found in his was that he, after he retired, he <coughs> uh, brought over from Japan uh, and opened a Park Golf Course. Now, Park Golf is kind of like a combination of croquet and golf. Uh, what makes it popular is that uh, you, you have one club and one ball. So it's very simple, just hit the ball and go. So, uh, pretty interesting, you know, with that. Here we are, starting off the match. No Mascaris already starting. His name means uh, a thousand masks. He, now, of course, he originally started in Mexico. Uh, he was considered more of a power wrestler than a Lucha Libre, but he was the first to bring Lucha Libre to Japan. And because of that, he became obviously very popular uh, with his, uh, you know, first of ever to use these types of high-flying moves. Ooh, nice punch there. Already two minutes into the uh, match. Destroyer working him over. There it is with the clean break. That was something else I noticed. Uh, you know, any time that they, they were in the ropes, always a clean break. He would always shake hands. Just, just a lot of mutual respect. Uh, Mil Mascaris uh, was not one to break the rules. Ooh, I thought he was going to get out of the ring there. Oh, a reversal. Missed a drop kick. Oh, what is that? Kind of a gnarly looking move there. A little bit of lag. 
Hurricane Rana. Some other things I read about Mil uh, Mascaris is that he was one, he was pretty difficult to work with. And <coughs> after watching him and reading what the comments are, I, I can I can see where why it, it, his thinking uh, you know uh, he was really big into One. I'm not gonna sell for you if you do a crappy move right so if you do an awful looking punch or an elbow or something like that I'm not gonna make you look good when you're really looking like crap so he would he's often big with no selling. And because of that, other wrestlers didn't really get along that well. But I, I can definitely understand his reasoning behind it. And it shows in his matches, too. When he does have somebody in the ring who can carry, oh, just great, great matches. With the cover, two count. Is he going to tap? Nope, he breaks out. Also, uh, you may not know, he was also the very first wrestler ever in Madison Square Garden to wear a mask. Uh, at that time, the New York uh, State Commission, uh, you know, wrestling was pretty legitimate. They wouldn't allow anyone to have wear a mask. Uh, but in order to bring, you know, the Mexican heritage, to the states, they did allow him to wear a mask, and yes, ever since then, you know, they say that wow, big power bomb. They say that people like Ultimo Dragon uh, may not, uh, you know, come into existence if it wasn't for him. Pretty good back and forth match so far. I haven't really seen a clear, you know, uh, any clear advantages from one from the other? Oh. With the cover, one, two, and the kick out. <laughs> 10 minutes into the match. The destroyer starting to slow down. Into the ropes. Oh, big crossbody block. Is this gonna be it? Nope, but he counters. Butterfly suplex. And the cover. Just a one count. And here in the background, big applause from the fans. Working over those hamstrings. Oh, into the figure four, his finisher. Is it gonna, is this it? Oh no, he breaks out. Oh, the counter. Another cover up and just a two kill. Fans are definitely excited for this one. Ooh, who does press? One, two. Just a big back and forth. Ooh. Pretty snazzy move. Back body drop. Destroyer up first. Clothesline. I need to find out how to get uh, a different ring. As you can tell, uh, uh, Masker's mask blends perfectly with Matt. Another cover. Oh, 2.9. That was almost it. Referee's arm is hurting. Oh, 
working that leg. The one leg Boston Crab. Oh, kicks out. Loosening that leg up for another uh, figure four attempt. A monkey flip. Just back and forth here. Another Lupez. Oh, 2.9. The roof is ready to blow off. This crowd is really into it. Changing blows. Hulking up. Drop kick. Oh, and he returns the favor. Catching his breath. Maybe going for his finisher soon. Here we go. Drags him into the ring. Is he going to put the figure four on? No. Picks him up. Back body drop. Going straight for the cover. Oh, 2.9. 17 and a half minutes gone by. <coughs> if I were to say it, I think Destroyer. There it is. There's the three count. He wins exhausted. Absolutely tired and exhausted. What a match. Let's go take a look and see what the uh, score was here. That had to be pretty high based on just how the crowd was reacting. Match evaluation, 100%. Uh, 17 minutes and 49 seconds for a double arm suplex. The Destroyer with the win. So, yeah, pretty fun. This is the thing that I like is being able to see these types of matches and how it unfolds, you know, rewriting history. Uh, it was a lot of fun doing research on these two. Uh, you know, they two people who kind of paved the way for the future. Uh, so very cool to watch uh, and uh, read up again. Again, JM Factor, thanks a lot for the recommendation. With that, I'm going to let you guys go. And thank you all for watching. I'll see you again on my next whatever you want to call this in Fire Pro Wrestling World. Thanks a lot.